In the direction of Bakhmut, Russian and Allied forces engaged in a battle of positions in the main sectors of the front. Russian troops slowed down a bit to advance the villages on the outskirts for more than a week. Now the defenders of Ukraine have been very well liquidated to this day, on August 25th. A few days earlier, the movement of Russian troops from a ground offensive south of Bakhmut. It surrounds Kodima, about 9 kilometers southeast of Bakhmut, on three sides, and advances to Zaitseve, about 13 kilometers southeast of Bakhmut. The largest self-propelled artillery combat work, Malka, of the Western Military District fired hard in response to armed forces of Ukraine. The gunner was helped by a 203mm caliber. The goal is to take revenge on Ukrainian army for their shooting two days before in Donetsk, Rubezhna, and Gorsky. On the eastern outskirts of Bakhmut, aviation-backed PMC Wagner, assaults continued to advance towards Ukrainian positions. In Pokrovsky, the attack of Bakhmut leadership is being carried out. Russian and Allied forces pushed armed force of Ukraine back into a defensive position. At the same time, the fortress of Ukrainian fighters was hit hard after the battle against the battery. Soldiers of the Special Forces Unit of Russian Guards move cautiously at the positions left by Ukrainian military behind Pokrovsky. Here, a number of mines are scattered throughout the area after being defeated. In the censored video, at least 38 Ukrainian soldiers were killed in the direction of Bakhmut, after artillery and tanks of the 100th Brigade of DPR worked. Meanwhile, Russian troops fighting in the jungle captured 11 soldiers, and at least 13 Ukrainian soldiers were killed. 